Hi everyone, it's Jean Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. So have you ever had one of those employees that just tends to break the rules a little bit? They think it's no big infraction and nobody's noticing, but they always seem to kind of stretch and bend those rules to fit their needs. And it really becomes irritating over time for you as a business owner um, when you have to deal with this. And a lot of times it feels like it's not a really big infraction, so don't make a big deal out of it, right? So here's an example. If you're working, you've got cleaners working in an office, cleaning offices every night, uh, the reception desk. A lot of times there's a bowl of candy sitting on the reception desk for the cut for the, your clients customers now the cleaners walk by they grab a piece of candy think it's no big deal but you know what sometimes those receptionists and some of the people that work in that office they think it's a really big deal and they get really ticked off when they know that your cleaners are taking the candy we've had it happen in our business before so what seems like not a big deal could be a big deal to your client um, a lot of times people stretch the rules by being late here and there a few minutes or you know not calling in and letting you know that they're going to be 15 minutes late things like that we one time had a, 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 an employee that was doing just those two things and then one night uh, she left her ID in the copy machine at our client's office so she was trying to make it she was making a copy of her identification and so they uh, you know we get a phone call the next morning hey we found this ID or driver's license in our copy machine and this looks like your employee <laughs> and so you know we promptly wrote her up for that it's it's clearly laid out in our policy manual because over time you learn all these things that they tend to do and so you end up adding things to your policy manual right it, these are the infractions that you could be written up for and so that was one of the things so you know paying attention to what she was doing we started documenting you know you just got to start doing it and even if you think it's not a minor thing of course initially you're going to talk to them and hopefully that will resolve the problem but if you continue to see either the same things repeat themselves or different little things happening start documenting okay one of the other things that she did a while later was um, and we have a very specific thing in our policy manual about this there's to be no pilfering of trash a lot of times they'll be emptying the trash and they'll be going through the office and maybe they they got rid of a, an old phone that you know they they no longer needed so there's a phone in the trash or there's a um, there's a calculator in the trash or you know there's something that they perceive as oh well there's nothing wrong with this I'm gonna take it right but that's not allowed you're not allowed to pilfer your clients trash um, and kind of the last straw with this employee was that she wasn't taking care of the janitor closet. We're very specific about how you take care of that janitor closet and how you leave by the end of the night. Part of that is making sure there's no trash left in the big brute that sits in there. Making sure that the mop buckets are rinsed out, that the mops are standing on ends so that they're not laying on the bristles if it's a broom or you know on the mop head if it's a mop. Making sure that um, the vacuums are all wiped down and emptied and ready to go for the next day. And you know you go into the janitor closet and none of that was being done. It was just trash. And, and so, you know, we finally had to let her go. We documented everything with all these different infractions. Well, guess what? About a month later, we get something from the local unemployment office saying she's claiming unemployment that she got fired and she wants her unemployment, right? So what do we do? We fought back. I'm not gonna accept that. She broke a lot of infractions. And so what we did, we had our documentation, we had her sign it and it was dated and all the different infractions and then we took a copy of the pages that applied to her infractions from our policy manual we highlighted them in yellow and that's what we submitted back and guess what she didn't get her unemployment so if you've got problem child like a problem child like as i like to call them um, as an employee in your business make sure that you are talking to that to them the first time that you see an infraction then start documenting if it continues to repeat itself you you got to protect your business if we hadn't done that and we had just had it up to here you know with her and said you're fired and we hadn't documented any of it and this happens a lot um, we would not probably have won that unemployment case so protect yourself 
and make sure that not only that you're protecting yourself, but that you're protecting your other employees who are good, loyal employees that follow the rules because they see this going on. They probably see it more than you do. And if you're letting people get away with that stuff, you're going to eventually lose your good employees. So that's my tip for today. Make sure that you are documenting those infractions so that you protect your company and keep the best employees on staff. Thanks and have a great day.